Final of Freddy's fan games are usually very similar to the official Final of Freddy's games, although sometimes they completely change the gameplay loop or even the layout. But one thing that stays consistent throughout all the games is its inclusion of jump scares. Just jump in the truck. Yeah, little baddie. <laughs> jiggles when I poke him. And Five Nights at Candies, one of the most popular Final Fantasy Freddy's fan games, is no exception. So, in this video, I'll be ranking every single Final Fantasy Candies jump scare from worst to best. I'll be ranking all jump scares from Candies 1, 2, 3, and Remastered. Keep in mind, this is all my opinion, and without further ado, hit that like button if you like Final Fantasy Candies, and let's get into the video. Number 44, Blank from Final Fantasy Candies 1. The original Blank jump scare has so much going against it. I mean, all the jump scares in this game are weak, but this takes the cake for sure as the worst one. For starters, the setup for the jump scare itself is extremely weak. If you look at Cam 5, you see a very interesting animation of Blank hitting the glass before the glass shatters, and you stare at the broken glass for like 5 seconds before the screen goes black, and we get greeted with a very not scary jump scare. Like, Blank isn't that scary to begin with, but this jump scare just doesn't do him any favours, and for that, I think this jump scare deserves to be at the bottom of the list, no matter how iconic it may be. Number 43, Blank from Final Fantasy Candies Remastered. This is pretty much the exact same jump scare as before, except the jump scare animation is slightly better. While this animation is a lot scarier and better quality than the previous one, because of the setup of the jump scare, it is exactly the same and there's literally no fear that can come out of this jump scare. So yeah, only slightly better than the original. Number 42, Candy Blackout from Final Fantasy Candies 1. The original Candy's power out is extremely cracked and you'll probably never even run out of power to begin with. But if you somehow do, you are met with this extremely mid jump scare. Unfortunately, despite what people think, walking towards the camera is not a jump scare. So yeah, sorry Candy, as iconic as you are, your jump scare sucks. Number 41, Candy Blackout, Final Fantasy Candies 1 Remastered. This remastered version of the last jump scare is literally only slightly better. Basically the same as the remastered blank jump scare. Number 40, Shadow Candy from the left side. Shadow Candy has probably one of the coolest designs in all of Final Fantasy Candies, and also has the most jump scare variations out of any character. However, despite that, three of their jump scares are actually terrible, and the left side jump scare when Shadow Candy attacks a door is probably the weakest one of the bunch. Number 39, Shadow Candy on the right side. This is basically the same as the previous one, but it looks slightly better. Number 38, Shadow Candy from the middle. Once again, it just looks slightly better than the previous two. Number 37, Old Candy, Final Fantasy Candies 1. Old Candy from Final Fantasy Candies 1 is an interesting character, and his mechanic is quite interesting too. Actually, no, it's not. It's just his eyes don't glow, so you need to look for him on the camera. What makes his jump scare not work is that in the original game, he's so dark that you can't even see his jump scare half the time. So unfortunately, I have to put him here. Number 36, Chester from Final Fantasy Candies 1. Chester is probably one of my least favourites of the bunch, since he feels slightly out of place compared to the others, and his jump scare from the first game is pretty lame and doesn't make creative use of his design at all. And considering that everyone in this game works exactly the same, there's nothing really special about him. Number 35, Candy from Final Fantasy Candies 1, Left Side Attack. Candy may be the face of the Candy series, but like Freddy and Final Fantasy Freddy's, he's kinda been neglected, and even though he has one of the more unique mechanics in Final Fantasy Candies 1, that's not saying much considering how basic this game is. Candy can attack from either the left or the right door. I know, super cool. And the jump scare you get if he comes from the left is definitely the weaker of the two. Number 34, Candy, Final Fantasy Candies 1, Right Side Attack. The right side attack from Candy is slightly better than his left side attack, but again, it's nothing special. Number 33, Cindy, Final Fantasy Candies 1. Despite being the carbon copy of Candy and being slightly less interesting from a gameplay perspective, Cindy definitely has the better jump scare of the two cats. But obviously, as we have already proved, the Final Fantasy Candies 1 jump scares are not very good. Number 32, Shadow Candy, Night Start. The introduction to Shadow Candy is not a jump scare that will get you more than once, but I truly think that the Null Knight starting jump scare after viewing Shadow Candy on the show stage is more effective than all the jump scares that we've seen before this one, just because of how unsettling and creepy that introduction is. But because it shouldn't get you more than once, I have to put it where it is. Number 31, Shadow Rat, Final to Candies 3. Our first Final to Candies 3 jump scare on the list, Shadow Rat has a really cool design, especially in Final to Candies 3. But unfortunately, the jump scare is rather simple in comparison. Just being a basic close-up of the face, but it's still creepier than what we have seen before. Number 30, Rat, 
Fire to Candies 2 side jump scare. Our first Fire to Candies 2 jump scare, which is surprisingly better than most of the Fire to Candies 1 jump scares, despite the fact that Fire to Candies 2 is a much more boring game. However, one thing I will say is that the Rat and Cat Knight is easily home to the weakest jump scares in this game. Not only do they look a bit funny, but the sound that they make is just hilarious and isn't scary at all. Number 29, Cat, Fire to Candies 2, Side Jump Scares. This is basically the exact same jump scare as the one we just showed, but Cat is a little bit more scary. Number 28, Cat, Fire to Candies 2, Middle Room Jump Scare. The same as before, but from a slightly better angle. Number 27, Rat, Fire to Candies 2, Middle Jump Scare. Same as before, but it looks a little bit better. Number 26, Rat, Fire to Candies 1, Left Side. Rat from the original Fire to Candies game is probably the creepiest character, and this jump scare isn't that bad, but it's not as good as number 25, Rat, Fire to Candies 1, Right Side Jump Scare. Yeah, this jump scare is only slightly better than the one before it, but it's still an okay jump scare. Number 24, Monster Cat, Fire to Candies 3, Second Jump Scare Variation. Fire to Candies 3's main characters both have three variations to their jump scares, and their second variant is easily the weakest, looking the most out of place compared to every other jump scare. Monster Cat is also easily the least scary and easiest character to deal with, so you'll probably never even see this jump scare. Number 23, Monster Rat, Fire to Candies 3, second jump scare variation. Monster Rat is the more aggressive and better design of the main two monster characters, but once again, the second variant of jump scares are not as good. Number 22, Monster Vinny, Fire to Candies 3, second jump scare variation. Monster Vinny is a really effective and creepy design, but again, this variation of jump scare is just not as good, and not as good as the other variations that this game offers. Number 21, Old Candy, Fire to Candies 1 Remastered. The Old Candy jump scare from the remastered games is the first jump scare that I don't think is completely trash, but only slightly. The remastered jump scares are definitely more up to the standard compared to their original counterparts, but Old Candy is definitely one of the weaker ones of this game. Number 20, Chester, Fire to Candies 1 Remastered. While I still don't like Chester's design overall, I do think they do a better job of making his personality shine with this jump scare in Fire to Candies Remastered. I like how he comes out from the side of the screen, kind of like he's coming from behind you. I don't know, it has its charm. Number 19, Blank, Fire to Candies 2, Side Jump Scare. Here we go, the Fire to Candies 2 listing, starting with a Blank attacking from the side. I just feel that Blank has the weakest design of the bunch. Number 18, Blank, Fire to Candies 2, Middle Jump Scare. Pretty much the same as before, but Blank's middle room attack is nicer in quality. Number 17, Cindy, Fire to Candies 2, Middle Jump Scare. Sydney is the next best design of the crew, although the middle jump scare isn't that good. Number 16, Sydney, Fire to Candies 2, Side Jump Scare. I find the cat's side jump scares to be slightly better than their middle counterparts. Number 15, Candy, Fire to Candies 2, Middle Jump Scare. Here we have Candy, who I think has a better design than Sydney. Number 14, Candy, Fire to Candies 2, Side Jump Scare. Just the same jump scare as before, but I think that the side jump scare is better. Number 13, Chester, Fire to Candies 2. The best Fire to Candies 2 jump scare comes from Chester, who will probably never jump scare you. But his jump scare is still the coolest and scariest one in Fire to Candies 2. Number 12, Candy from Fire to Candies 1 Remastered, Left Side. Once again, Candy makes his return in the remastered version and it's definitely an improvement. However, I still think that the left side jump scare is weaker compared to Number 11, Candy, Fire to Candies 1 Remastered, Right Side Jump Scare. The right side jump scare for Candy in Fire to Candies Remastered just hits different in my eyes. However, I still think he's overshadowed by a bunch of other characters. And as we enter the top 10, you'll start to see what I mean. Comment Justice for Candy to give him luck in the Final Candies 4 game. Please let him have a good jump scare. Also, if you've made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing. But anyways, onto the top 10. Number 10, Cindy from Final Candies 1 Remastered. Cindy once again overshadows her cat friend in jump scare quality. It's not a massive improvement, don't get me wrong, but it's still super cool. Number 9, Rat from Fire to Candies 1 Remastered, Left Side Jump Scare. Rat is probably the scariest looking character out of the original 7 characters, and once again, the left door doesn't work with the jump scares, and they are always getting overshadowed by the right side. Which, speaking of which, Number 8, Rat, Fire to Candies 1 Remastered, Right Side Jump Scare. The right side of Rat's jump scare is definitely one of the more effective jump scares out of the normal Fire to Candies Remastered ones. I think the jump scares where a character comes out of view from the side works the best because it just causes it to seem more realistic and makes the player want to look over their shoulder. But anyways, now onto my favourite of the Fire to Candies Remastered jump scares. Number 7, Shadow Candy, Blackout Jump Scare. 
Yes, I know, this jump scare suffers the same problems as the blackout candy, but by god is this jump scare just way scarier and way, way creepier. Featuring my favourite jump scare sound from any of the candies games, as well as my favourite imaging. This reminds me of something like Graveyard Shift at Freddy's or Shadow over Freddy's, and it's probably my personal favourite jump scare. However, I wouldn't be true to myself if I didn't give these next 6 jump scares the praise they deserved. Number 6, Monster Cat, 3rd jump scare variation. The 3rd variant of jump scare from Final to Candy's 3 cast is way better than their 2nd phase, and I think them jumping out from under the bed is just creepy imagery, and it just works wonders. The reason that the 3rd phase is here though, is that during gameplay, this is triggered by you missing the final flash, which isn't super intense or scary. Number 5, Monster Rat, 3rd jump scare variation. Monster Rat is much the same as Monster Cat, except that Monster Rat just looks way better. I also love how these jump scares are fully animated rather than the simple sprite that was in it before, especially with this next character. Number 4, Monster Vinny, 3rd jump scare variation. Again, Monster Vinny is easily one of, if not the creepiest design in all of Final Candies. While Shadow Candy is my favourite, Monster Vinny is the most effective for jump scares, and you can really see that here. Number 3, Monster Cat, 1st jump scare variation. The first variation of Monster Cat's jump scare is my personal favourite, and to explain why I think the first variation of jump scares works the best, let's look at Number 2, Monster Rat, 1st jump scare variation. Monster Rat's jump scare, or at least the first variation of the jump scare, was what inspired me to make this video. For being a series of pretty lacklustre jump scares, this jump scare generally surprised me. What I love about the first variation compared to the third is that this jump scare comes from a lot more intense moment during gameplay, meaning that this jump scare will probably get you more times in the third variant. I don't know, something about this jump scare just works so well for me. However, despite that, I think there's one more jump scare that just barely beats this one out. Number 1, Monster Vinny, First Attack Jump Scare. And for the best jump scare out of all the Final Fantasy Candies games, we have Monster Vinny's First Attack Jump Scare. As I said before, Monster Vinny is probably the creepiest out of all the Final Fantasy Candies 3 characters, and the way this jump scare is lit works so well. It's the most realistic of the bunch, and I personally think it has the scariest imagery out of any jump scare in Final Fantasy Candies. So there we have it, every single jump scare ranked from the Final Fantasy Candies series from worst to best. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and join the Discord link below. And remember that on the 11th of November, that I will be ranking every single Fire to Freddy's character, and I do mean every single one, and I will be featuring a bunch of massive YouTubers who you will definitely know a few of. But anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.